we got word that the video went viral due to TMZ and, and the authorities was looking for us. I knew I had a concert coming up, so we reached out, you know, let them know if they needed to question me. I was more than cooperative. They agreed to let me do the show, and as soon as I got off stage, I was arrested. I knew that I would be detained by the police, and they asked a few questions, but they put the cuffs on us, took us in the car, took us around that to the detention center. When I went in, they asked me a few questions, and they pretty much had their mind made up already. Because after they asked me a few questions, they said, okay, come on, we're going to the cell. Once they were arrested about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, I alerted our US legal team immediately, went over to the embassy as soon as they opened to notify them of what happened and figure out what we need to do next. And they called to reach out to the detention center to check on them, and they were rejected. And he alerted me to this, and he was very concerned, and he didn't understand. And he told me this was a violation of Article 36 of the Vienna Convention. This was a huge red flag to me that so early on they were being this difficult, and I knew we were in for it. I just start reaching out to anyone I can to like, do you have a lawyer? Do you know a lawyer? I saw that this happened. What did you do to get out of it? The between us, this is what just happened. We need help. I just had a bad feeling about the whole situation. The first couple of days when you locked up and shit, you just be like, when you when you know you got money or some shit, you just like, yeah, I'm not gonna be in here too long and shit like that. When you find out that they don't have a bail system or a plea bargain, it doesn't matter how much money you throw. That's when you're like, oh, this is some bullshit, you know? They gonna make an example out of me. And that's what they did.